We were fixing up the house and it was kind of a mess and there were appliances in our living room and, and I saw um, some people from the fire department walking down the street and it looked like they had just passed our house so I kind of opened the door and I was like, are you looking for us? And they were really friendly and laughing and they said, yeah, we're, we're installing smoke detectors, do you need one? And they put up a couple. And who would know that a couple, you know, a few months later that we would be using that. A week ago Thursday, I left about 7.40 in the morning to take my son to school. school. And the two little ones came in and kind of jumped on the bed. Everybody was awake except for me. And uh, then they, and I was nursing the baby. And then the kids went off to play. And I started hearing this beep, 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 beep. And I was still waking up and I didn't really know what was going on. So I got up to investigate the beep. And Joseph, the three-year-old, runs into the room. And he's like, fire! So I went to see what it was, because so my first thought is, I have to put it out. So I hit the bottom of the steps and I look up and there's smoke and it's so thick, I just thought I can't stay here, I have to get out of the house. So I ran to the back of the house to get the baby and I'm trying to push the two-year-old Lucy and Joseph out of the house. Let's get out, we've got to get out. I mean, When I arrived, when I returned about 8.30 in the morning, uh, there, I couldn't park very close to the house because of, there was four or five fire trucks and police officers and the ambulance and uh, as I walked closer to the home I realized it was our home that they were the reason they were there but we just had to get over to the neighbors and call 911 as fast as we could and so time for me was just like in slow I guess slow motion yet the house is burning so fast mm -hmm. and then they came and they had it out Spent in the morning in our van not knowing what to do or where to go mm -hmm. um, then we come to the Red Cross and we're just taking we were warmly welcomed and just um, really given more than we ever thought a place to stay in a really nice hotel and funds for clothes. Mama. It would have been so much more painful without without that. And it really helped us be like, everything's going to be okay, we're going to work through this. But the smoke detector was going off, even, even though I didn't know what it was. Um, that got me out of bed to look and see what was going on. It's very important, you know, check batteries and install them. Yeah. I mean, we never thought there would be a fire in our house. I was surprised how fast it happened. And so I would definitely recommend to get that because instead of just losing some of our belongings, we, we could have been going to a funeral this week. So, yeah, definitely, it's important. And so we don't want to learn that the hard way to get that done as quick as possible.